YouTube. Hello? This is a review by a casual gamer! What's going on? It's Malik Childish and I'm bringing you another casual review. If you're new to the series and new to my page, I basically just talk about a game like it's just me and you chilling. I think watching stuff and reading stuff like an IGN kind of gets a little bit too in depth. And, and you know, you just need somebody that's just gonna give it to you as it is. And I know I'm late for Red Dead Redemption 2, but I just have to put this on my page to let it live here because I feel like this game deserves that type of long-term credit where people 10 years from now are going to wanna just, hey, what, what, what was the reviews for Red Dead Redemption 2? Why did people like this game so much? Getting straight into it, I wanna talk about the world. The world is humongous is the best way to put it. I mean, you could travel literally half an hour in real time across this world. And on your way, you're seeing people in a chain gang. You're seeing people get robbed. You're seeing people hunt. You're seeing people asking for money. It's literally so random in the sense of it really feels like you're traveling. Um, as you can see, the biomes change. You can see people in different types of clothing the rich the poor and i think somebody said it best it's like you're in a virtual museum rockstar really showed off their world building skills with this one and you can tell one negative to this giant world though is the fast traveling capabilities the only way to fast travel in red dead is a train or a stagecoach both are mainly only found in big cities i think there's a couple you know scattered around randomly but most of the time your missions are not ending up anywhere close to one of these train stations or stagecoaches it's the worst i think i you literally travel, I mean, give or take about 15 minutes, 10 minutes to everything. If not, there and back is usually about 15, 15, 20 minutes. And that makes an, a mission that would probably take 15 minutes if you had some type of fast traveling capability. But to add on riding a freaking horse everywhere, it's a, it half an hour, hour to each mission. No, it's not a bad thing. But to me, somebody who came in there not even expecting that, it didn't ruin anything for me just going into it in the aspect of I, I thought there was a way to fast travel to places um it, it kind of sucked so the next thing i want to get into is the combat the combat is exactly like gta kind of glad they stayed with that i was able to just hop on there and just know how to play and with that in this cowboy type esque era um it really feels like you in a movie or something like you just out there shooting quick aiming they even have like the the like ability on there where you can uh, basically slow-mo time and move your cursor to shoot something it's it's perfect it really makes you feel like that guy speaking of that guy arthur the main character he's fire i love him he's phenomenal you literally see his character grow from day one all the way until you beat the game i won't give no spoilers like that arthur is a very fire main character um, he he, he kind of brings you along on this journey of his character growing as a person. You came! Yeah, I came. Um, in that you can choose the type of people you meet, you can choose the type of decisions he makes, and kind of have him tilt on that if I'm trying to grow or if I'm trying to stay the same. Not 100% sure how the choices change the main storyline. Um, as far as I know, it doesn't change it much, so it kind of forces his character to grow in that aspect, but what you do outside of that story, I think kind of manipulates the story a little bit. I, I would have to think it has to, because um, while you're playing, it has a basically a reputation bar where the decision that you make or the people that you kill the robberies different things like that um it either does good or it does bad to his reputation not 100 percent sure how the reputation works i was completely good on my playthrough um my bar was um, basically full and i even got like an achievement for having it all the way full so i do kind of want to see how the bad reputation would be but hey this game is long so to back it up a little bit this game is long. 
I think I put give or take about 60 hours into it, man. And that was even after, once I got to like 40, 50, I was just like, what can I do to make this go by way faster? Once you're, once you hit like 60 hours in a game, if I'm not earning nothing, if I'm not trying to go pro in this, nah, 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 I ain't gonna gas it up like that. But 60 hours in a game, I, I just was not expecting to put that much time on it. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty busy. I'm not gonna lie. So to invest that much time into a video game, it's kind of slim for me, uh, especially especially since, you know, I, I wasn't really big in the online gameplay. Uh, we'll save that for a little bit later in the video. Um, I did want to give another shout out to the rest of the characters. Um, that's a part of this story. I think every character had their own portion of this giant world and every character was perfect it, it, it really made you want to decide on who you didn't like made you decide on who you liked, who you wanted to make sure made it to the end who death scenes you know you see and you're like oh my gosh as far as the antagonists go man every good story has a good antagonist there was a couple antagonists in it um i do want to shout out dutch like like i said i'm not gonna give too much spoilers but mainly the person that runs arthur's posse his name is dutch i did not like that man at all like at, from day one i did not like him <laughs> this movie you're watching is is that's what it feels like like every character has a role every you know actor whatever you want to call it man they did a great job really making you feel something while you're playing this game uh, one thing i, I definitely want to touch on is that wild west type game I don't know why there isn't more Wild West games because Rockstar literally proves to us that the Wild West had so many different aspects to it as far as the ugly, the good, you know, the bad, like it, it, there was so much going on in this time period. It's easy to make these different storylines. I, I, I think even more of a RPG type element, which they're trying to do with the online side, like I said, we'll get to that later. Uh, a RPG version of this would have been I think even just a little bit more better. Um, if you want to compare it to GTA 5, how in GTA 5, um, that, that RPG element comes from the online with um, them even tying in main story characters into the online quest. So to finally touch on the online aspect before I get into like my final save for the game, um, the online is not it. And that's for a lot of different reasons. Um, the main reason is that the game modes on there are just not that fun. Uh, the main game mode on there, I I like is just regular old deathmatch uh, which kind of gets debunked um basically off of this is the highest powered gun this is the lowest powered gun and the skill level is kind of difficult to gauge once again if it's a higher level player they have better shooting ability if it's a lower level player they can't shoot that well it's not hard to level your person up you do level up pretty fast online but overall it's it's, it's a kind of mid experience there are missions and there are things that you can do let's say with your friends um like a pve type game mode uh, where you know you can storm a fort you can rob something you know that type of stuff but none of them are that fun where you know your friends are like dude i can't wait to get home and play red dead with you like it's it's just not that fun overall not gonna lie i give this game about a nine out of ten uh just strictly off of that main storyline the main storyline I, I personally think was flawless i think it was very well done they did the characters right they did the combat right they did the the environment right that's a rare thing that's a very rare thing when you're talking about single player games single player games there's usually a focus you know what i mean there's usually something where that it sticks out more than something else this game everything i felt like was very evenly balanced i personally think like i said to start this video i need this to live on my page because i think this will be a game that we talk about for many 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 generations so if you've not copped it if you ain't played it yet hey go pick it up i think i bought it for like 20 dollars not too long ago so it would, the price will probably continue to go down and listen this this is a, a sadie adler fan account that's that's all i'm saying sadie adler she she took it home for me that was top tier right there so i appreciate you watching my casual review for red dead redemption 2 uh like i said i have a couple of these on the page now i'll continue to do these uh, especially for games i just don't play that frequently on this youtube page if this is your first time seeing my face go ahead and subscribe man and come back and see what else we do on this page i am also on twitch i stream about once a week Go ahead and drop a follow. It's Malik Childish as well. I'm gone.